This time on Film Ranker, we are looking at The Muppets. There have been eight theatrically released films over five decades. Most of us grew up with Kermit and the gang, and chances are you have some fond memories of the various iterations of The Muppet Show and some real connections to the characters. They are kind of the best. So let's take a trip down memory lane and rank them from worst to best. Number eight, Muppets from Space. I would argue that there isn't really a bad Muppets movie. If there are Muppets on screen, I'm probably interested in watching, but Muppets from Space doesn't really get it. It seems like instead of looking at why we have always loved the Muppets in the past, the producers of this 1999 film want to update and push things into the future, which just ends up feeling painfully 90s. The humor is a bit more biting, the songs are replaced by a funk soundtrack, and there's more of a focus on the new characters like Pepe and the cringeworthy Clifford. There are still great moments, but even the focus, answering the question of Gonzo's origins, shows that the producers don't really get the joke. Number seven, Muppets Treasure Island. By far the weaker of the two Muppets movies based on classic literature, not counting the made-for-TV Oz movie, it starts a little bit clunky, but things do get rolling once the action gets to the pirate ship, with Kermit and Sam in charge and Tim Curry doing a fantastic job as Long John Silver. There are some really great bits, like the roll call and most of the songs, Cabin Fever and Professional Pirate are two standouts. It just takes a bit too long in places and doesn't have quite the hit-to-miss joke percentage that some of the others on this list do. Number six, Muppet Christmas Carol. Depending on your love of the original story and or the holiday season in general, this one might move higher or lower on your list. It is, after all, a very well-put-together film and a surprisingly faithful adaptation of a beloved classic. The trick is that it isn't really that much of a Muppet movie. Yes, Gonzo narrates and Kermit and Piggy play the Cratchits, but otherwise this is more of a Jim Henson movie with some killer film-specific Muppets than it is an actual Muppet movie. Still, when it comes to Christmas Fair, this one is a no-brainer. Number five, Muppets Most Wanted. It shares a lot of DNA with the original sequel, a European adventure with a jewel heist, though most of the similarities are only skin deep. This time it's the evil Constantine and not quite as evil Ricky Gervais pulling the strings to pretty good effect, though not as good as Tina Fey's Russian gulag warden. The real highlight, however, is the detective bromance between Sam the Eagle and the French detective, who gets the best gags and maybe the best song in the show. Like the opening song says, the sequel is never as good, but this one isn't bad. Number four, Muppets Take Manhattan. Maybe the most linear of the Muppet films, Muppets Take Manhattan clearly sets out what it aims to do, and it does it. It has a tighter focus with Kermit getting 90% of the screen time and Piggy not too far behind. The story is Kermit trying to get Manhattan Melodies on Broadway and all the ups and downs it takes to get there. It doesn't have the most songs or the biggest laughs, but it's well written, the humans do a great job of selling their co-stars, and the payoff is well worth worth it, wrapping up with the wedding that we all wanted to see. Number three, The Muppets. There was a lot of trepidation going into this one. Muppets from Space had been a misstep, and the fan base didn't want to get burned again. Thankfully, Jason Segel obviously truly loves the franchise and does a surprisingly great job bringing it back to the forefront. This is what it feels like to recapture your childhood in movie form. Perhaps Segel, Adams, and new Muppet Walter take up a bit too much space, but the returning Muppets all get a chance to shine and the songs are the best that they've been in a long time. With Brett from Flight of the Concords definitely deserving that Oscar. It's the classic comeback story in the style of the classic comeback story. Number two, The Great Muppet Caper. 
The original sequel is an interesting left turn from the original movie. The Muppets are suddenly playing characters. They're in London, and there's a terrific absurdity to a lot of the jokes, not the least of which is the hilarious running gag that Kermit and Fozzie are twins. The celebrity guests are great, including a weirdly loose bad guy turned by Charles Grodin, Peter Falk playing a terrible detective, and a terrific extended cameo from the great John Cleese. There's no huge show-stopping moment, but there are a lot of great little bits that add up to a fantastic film. Number one, The Muppet Movie. The original Muppet movie was a pretty big gambit, taking what was ostensibly a sketch show and turning it into a linear narrative. But the Muppets are more than strong enough characters to carry it. The simple road slash origin story does exactly what we need it to do. Every Muppet gets their moment to shine and it sets up all kinds of opportunities for adventures and hijinks and cameos, the best of which include Steve Martin, Mel Brooks, Richard Pryor, and of course, Orson Welles. And then there's the music with the all-time classic Rainbow Connection and moving right along, as well as Gonzo's underrated I'm Gonna Go Back There Someday. The whole package is 97 minutes of pure joy. And that is it. I grew up with the Muppets, so I have a sweetum size soft spot for them. But please let me know what you think of the films and which ones are your faves. And also, like and subscribe, and hopefully I will see you all next time.